Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about a topic which haunts 80% of the students in Indian schools and maybe globally. That in spite of doing the best practice while confronting the examinations, they commit silly mistakes in their mathematics papers and when they come out of the examination hall, they realize that they have made such mistakes which normally during practice they did not commit. So I am going to tell you some of the ways and means through which these silly mistakes in mathematics examinations can be minimized or overcome. Well, the very very first point which I would like to bring to your notice is that it is an age old saying that practice makes a man perfect and how true it is. Obviously mathematics is a special subject. It is not a subject like other theoretical subjects, history, Hindi, English literature and what not. It demands special attention, special practice hours. So the first point which I would like to stress upon is that you have to give yourself a lot of practice time, lot of practice time. Now when you give yourself lot of practice time, obviously you commit some errors also and during practice when you commit errors, these errors have to be highlighted highlighted in the sense that see whenever you see something big or something special you remember that for a lifetime that's what we have to do with the errors which we commit during practice we can underline those errors we can highlight using a highlighter we can write them in big alphabets so that it creates a map in the mind that you will remember for life. So these errors are not to be neglected. You have to keep a record of what kind of errors you are making while practicing mathematics. Second is the errors which come up in examination unexpectedly are mostly due to time constraint. So you have to give yourself lots of time bound tests. Students commit this mistake at home, they study according to their convenience and they do not take sufficient number of questions and give themselves a challenge to complete those questions within a stipulated time. Time bound tests is very very essential for removing these silly mistakes in examinations. So whenever you are practicing at home, give yourself a limit, a time limit and then try to finish those questions within the given time limit so that in actual situation in the examination you are not afraid of solving say 30 questions within a time frame of 3 hours. So this is another very important point, point lot of practice time and lot of time bound tests to be given to yourself. The third and very very important point is while attempting the question paper uh, suppose you are writing the steps like this and finally you get 34 into 91 as the answer. So what you do is in the margin you calculate this 34 into 91. So whenever you calculate this in rough, this is the product. You cannot afford to check the whole paper at the end of the paper in the last 10 minutes. It is impractical 
एनी वन हु सजेस्ट यू टू चेक योर पेपर एट द एंड इज नॉट टेलिंग यू द राइट वे ऑफ अटेम्प्टिंग द पेपर दिस चेकिंग ऑफ कैलकुलेशन हैव टू बी डन साइमल्टेनियसली अलॉन्ग विद द अटेम्प्ट that is simultaneous checking of calculations whenever you do a calculation in the rough work this calculation if before writing the answer in the fair part you have to check it then and there second time so all calculations which you do have to be checked then and there simultaneously along with the attempt you cannot check all calculations in the last 5 to 10 minutes of the paper simultaneous checking of calculations is very very important then if you have to check this multiplication whether this is right or not then you should be aware of shortcuts aware of these shortcuts which enable you to check your calculations shortcuts for checking the calculations and that's what my intention of posting all these videos is to provide you good shortcuts which will enable you to work effectively in your examinations and in competitive examinations as well then another very important thing is the silly mistakes come up normally in easy questions the students tend to take easy questions very lightly so you have to pay equal attention to easy questions now easy questions are basically those which you have practiced and in which you have enough confidence that you will not commit any errors in those questions you tend to take them lightly and in that process you commit silly mistakes so you have to pay equal attention to the part which you consider that it is easy then another very important thing is to challenge yourself now to challenge yourself basically whenever you have reached the accuracy then after reaching accuracy that means whenever you are able to solve a given number of questions in a given time accurately then you have to challenge yourself and develop your speed it is a law of nature then that whenever there is speed in doing a work the number of errors which is committed tends to increase so challenge yourself if you are able to solve 20 questions in 90 minutes then try solving all these 20 questions next time in 85 minutes in the process give yourself a challenge of solving these in 70 minutes 60 minutes and so on and you will realize that whenever the time constraint is there on our mind we tend to commit more errors so before actually appearing in any kind of examination you have to challenge yourself enough times so that you have that habit habit of completing a given number of questions in less time and that too without committing many errors then final point which i am going to dis uh, discuss today is the coordination now see whenever we think of a particular concept the mind the hand which writes and the eyes which sees watches the mind give instructions and the hand write the concept in the answer sheet these three have to be well coordinated so this hand eye and mind coordination has to be improved now this improvement of hand eye and mind coordination is very very important 
hand should write exactly the same thing which the mind is directing you to write and if there is lack of coordination between the two then these silly mistakes will crop up in the answer sheet one of the methods which i have tested successfully for increasing this hand eye and mind coordination is to write 1 to 500 counting once a week if you write 1 to 500 counting without committing a error then your mind eye and hand coordination is very very good it is a tested method and if you try this you will realize that writing counting from 1 to 500 without committing a error is a very very tough job and i have tested this on many many students and i have not seen one in 100 students who is able to do this without committing any error when they come to 201 202 203 203, then there is stress on the mind the mind speaks the digits 201 202 203 203 and accordingly the hand has to write in the notebook so if a person is able to do this without committing an error then it is wonderful these are some of the methods through which you can reduce your silly mistakes in examination and these methods also tend to improve the concentration level when it comes to mathematics learning so students try these out if i have tested these methods for many students in my life and come up with amazing results so keep learning keep enjoying and share and subscribe the video if you like it